Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector. We are in trouble, for want of a better word. The alliance that supposedly has four members includes a faction now that is hostile with us because they were big old crybabies because they got blown up during a mission and they're blaming us for it. That's the story, I'm sticking to it. Um, we have a raid that's going over there. We have a saturation bombardment that unfortunately is going after Cradle, and Cradle didn't do nothing to nobody. So the Dictat, there's not too, too many of them left. Let's take a look real quick at the faction directory just to kind of see Sandrian Dictat. That's not how you sing the alphabet song. Oh boy. Well, if they are going from any of these places, that's one thing, but hopefully they're going from uh, Assyrius, which interestingly enough, we back out of this ever so slowly, um, if we look at what the Salt's plans are right now, they are actually supposed to be invading it, and they will likely win. So we're going to take a gamble here. We're going to take a gamble and say that the Sindarin Dictat is going to do the job for us to actually save uh, save the Cradle. But before we before we get there, we've got to actually um, figure some shit out. Because these guys are invading and we can still do military options here like we can launch a raid and this was suggested uh, by Tony Lee Pardor in the uh, discord known as char here we still have a synchronic core and there's no reason for um, the crybabies to take it uh, they can have a corrupted nanoforge they can have blueprints they can have whatever um, any other parting gifts I want to take with me as well Probably not. May as well take some fuel, I guess. That seems fine. But yeah, there's no reason. We can, we may not need it right away, but we don't have to have it. And we're getting another Vengeance Fleet. And we can take the fuel for ourselves. It's fun. And now we will take our leave because they are already getting invaded, supposedly. Allegedly. So that should work out. Wow. Okay. Well, let me just start by saying that it's been an interesting day where Okay, we're not we're not taking that with us, are we? Maybe we are. All right. Um where I was woken up by my youngest cat, Bernie chasing something through the kitchen. And I was like, maybe I just saw something in my sleep. Nope, later in the day, he just waltzes out with a mouse in his mouth. And then I was like, well, that's exciting. Not the first time he's caught a mouse, but I thought for sure this would be the first time he'd killed a mouse until, because I saw it laying on the ground on its side and its feet were up. And I was like, well, that's it. that's dead. Until I looked back later, because I was going to get something to pick up the dead mouse, and it was no longer there, and it was not in my cat's mouth, and sure enough, it popped up from one of my shoes. So, my cat, Bernie, likes to attack things, but is also kind of a pacifist about it. So, that's funny. He, he wants to play, he does not want to kill. Unfortunately, we do need to kill the station. I don't think there's anything we really need to like take from here could try to take some heavy armaments but 40 for the amount of losses we'd get is not worth it um we'll just do this instead and we're gonna try to feature some more ships uh, one thing i still need to do is go in the settings and just change up the fleet deployment stuff we're kind of well we are literally at the end game here i don't need to be sending this many ships this is fine this is a um Ooh, that's a, that's a weird buzz in the background, and I'm not sure if that was the game or something else, but it was uh, some weird audio interference on my end, but yeah. We are definitely nearing the summation of this run, which is something I feel like I've been talking about for 20 episodes here. But it's just like, it, it turns out, you know, I haven't really done a save in Star Sector where it's like, win, take out all the other factions. It takes a lot of time, it takes a little bit of tedium, but we're having some uh, small to medium drama popping in here as well, between faction intrigue and all of that other stuff. 
So hopefully we don't friendly fire on our own people. Surely they can't kick me out of my own faction. Surely, right? So we'll turn this way and completely, completely mess that up, but it's fine. Like I said, this station is not long for this world. And it wasn't. Alright. Fire the missiles just for fun. That supplies we probably could have saved. They're just flying off into the distance now. Never to be seen again. What do you know? They still hate us. But they don't hate us 100%. Pick through the wreckage. What do we get? Um, I owe my soul to the company store. Maybe. Okay. We could invade land. Well, I was going to say we could orbitally bombard land, but we're going to just go straight for the invasion. I feel like I haven't done this in a little bit. Hopefully my people do not get shot while diving down because I did not try to shoot the ground defenses here. And we're getting shot. Well, we've talked about this before. You want to do the orbital bombardment just to avoid the situation. But it's okay. Because this is not going to take very long. We're not getting hit very hard, although it sucks to lose a few people here. But we have already overwhelmed them. Be surprised if they last much more than a day. Probably two days. And we are not passing this over. Oh, what do you know? And then we lost some monthly expenses here. Was that because of supply draws? Officer payroll, fleet, yeah, stockpiles, okay. That would do it. And, hey, saturation bombardment has failed. Market captured, land. Question is, was the saturation bombardment coming from here or did Desalt also gain a friend? Desalt's still going, so interesting. It turns out the Desalt Gambit was a uh, red herring. All right, while we're here, it's cool. We can repair. It's cool. We can manage the colony. Get 230 people back and some heavy armaments back. And take the ore for now, because we're going to do our usual cycling through this. Except that we are definitely not passing anything over to one of our disfavored crybaby factions. Crybaby Mikoyan, is that what we're going to call him? I don't know. Um, honestly, we already have a POMED group in here, so let's give them another. They still love us. I mean, I could try to take over planets and repair my rep, but I feel like I've tried to repair my rep with these people so many times, it's just not worth my time anymore. All right, so we are actually a little short on supplies. We could sell these supplies for <laughs> for a lot. You know, it's funny. I was doing my my throat's been doing a lot better, and we don't need any of this. We got more than enough weapons to equip anything. You can leave in the comments the uh, tears for what I've thrown away. It's totally fair, but. It's bonus money, and more importantly, it's some trade stability bonuses and surpluses that will help build out this place. We're in, I kind of want to buy from the black market, but that's stupidly expensive. You know, while we're here... <sighs> well, Togar, Ikari, that's, that's, I guess that's not surprising that it's cheap. But yeah, it's almost like uh, in, our, in the wake of our just attacks here that's kind of how it works out but it looks like uh, Desalt has the upper hand if the AI can just figure out how to take over all these places so it's a matter of time so if we look at the uh, Dictats kind of thing here Vengeance Fleet 1, Vengeance Fleet 2, Vengeance Fleet 2 we've got we've got a lot of pissed off Dictat people that maybe Maybe uh, our frenemies can take care of. 
But we had some other work we are doing. <laughs> we're going to go back to Akari where it all started first. Um, so yeah, this is fine. And once again, I did do all of this. Huh. War between the Vic and the Pomad. You know what? I'm going to say yes, just to see what Desalt says. Alright. So, the Interstellar Clan. What a crappy name versus Shadow Immortalis, which is super cool. And cannot be questioned. Alright. So, if we go to Akari with our beacon off this time, what's going to happen? Alright, well, the invasion's over. Oh. Invasion over... So it is... I, I thought for a second Shadow Yards took the planet. So let's take a look. So a potential enemy. Although remember, our goal isn't necessarily to like full white people. I love that the Kingdom of Terror is friendly with us now, so that worked out. Um, we're just subjugating the place. We want to get rid of all major threats. I should really pay attention to which gravity well I'm supposed to use. I'm pretty sure it's not this one. So we don't have to like full clear everything but we did have some work we wanted to do but now we're back at rock piper perch so that's fun really um hang on it's not like you guys like totally hate us i thought eh. okay if, if i feed you guys some prisoners Okay. Okay, now we're here. And now we can trade. Because I just, I want your supplies. That's what I want. I'll even trade from the black market because that's fun. I'll probably buy all these, right? Sure, why not? Oof. Don't want to buy all their metal. That'd be stupid. But this is fine. It's cheaper, even with the other stuff here. And what am I looking for? Like, we have... Before we had this whole side venture here... We were on the warpath, not for Legio. For Diable. And all we have left is really Resh Post. So let's go ahead and knock them out. You know, I'm curious here. Hegemony... One hidden market. Oh, they're trying to come back into the game. I guess that counts as being subjugated. If they can come back into the game. But yeah, Desalt, we propped you up. We made you what you are. Brighton. They're supposed to be our permanent enemy this whole time, but... They just have not been relevant. And that's okay. That's that's the nature of the wheel. Um, Vic's actually a pretty formidable opponent. Have to figure out what we want to do with them. Zahn, surprisingly toothless. Or maybe that's how they always are. Alright. So we're alive. This is all here. You guys can farm pirates and fight. Alright. Back to square two. Legio's here and has bounties for us. Diable, who we fought so much... Um, also with Tritech here, so you guys you know, find where Resh is. I feel like I could have done a better job using the faction directory to my advantage. There we go. So this is going to be awkward. Because you're just, in, you're literally, I guess most of the dival places are just in orbit hanging out. It's like they don't hate us right now. I mean, tri still doing its thing. The galaxy's not entirely at peace, though. Like I said, I gotta figure out if I need... If, uh... The Vic's getting too big for their britches. Clearly our allies want to take them out, but... It's us that are setting the, uh... Goals here, not them. But I am expecting DeSalt to just leave the Alliance here at some point. Even though they're very well... Ooh, I really hope I'm recording here. 
Okay. Yeah, it looks. I'm just. I'm always paranoid because I've done nothing to the mic settings. It's peaking. It's fine. It's gonna be really annoying if suddenly I get here and there ain't nothing. All right. So let's just go into this gravity well because it's close. Hey, they gave us a quest. We could actually accept that quest and then murder them. It is on the wrong side of the galaxy, but we're going to accept it anyway. Oh, Lesh, Resh Laboratories. Diable and Tritac sounds like a horrible, horrible combination. You have one group that's working on the physical side of it, really? Yeah. Um, we refuse. And we're going to let them go. Because we are just going for here. So this is another place with an alpha core. And at least three weeks until the commotion dies down. Um, I don't know what they're talking about. It's only got 490 defenses. They are short on everything. Seems like not a bad place if they just had supplies. Wonder what's up with that. Hey, what? We can't we can't we can't do these. Interesting. Military options. So we can engage the battle station its defenses. It's pretty much just the battle station. And that is a terrifying battle station. Oh my god, so many beta cores. And some of them entrenched a little bit harder than others. So that's interesting. Well, I guess we'll grab these two, so. Hey, I know some people like to farm cores by like setting up a um, oh, low relationship. Someone's trying to get the POMED to um, not like us. Hey, these guys are trying to be do good, doing good. Somebody's, they're like engaging Resh post. Is that so? I'm curious about what that looks like. Okay, launch another raid. And I acquire more goods. Can we get three of these in one go? Looks like we can. I think we're going to be just short of getting these, but if it's I mean, don't see why we don't. Oh, it's the Ludic Path Watchers. Thanks, guys, for lowering the station's combat readiness. And, um, you're running like hell. You're pursuing our fleet. Is that so? All right, launch a raid. We can't actually engage the defenses until this fight's over, so good luck and godspeed. We are one short. And they really don't have anything that we want, except for maybe like stealing tran transplutonics. Sure, let's let's be not that big of jerks. Just regular jerks. We lost 41 marines for that misadventure. Okay. Well, since we got a little bit of time anyway. Hey, 3 10th gen. Tell me more. Oh, this bell needs all the way up here. I mean, it seems it seems interesting. That's all the way up there. I mean, I'd just love to come in there and like... Here we go, they got fucked up. Alright. Last core. I don't think we need to do that much there. We're just going to take the core. Cool. Alright, so we're going to pass time here. So you guys are all still fighting. And I yanked out the alpha core here. We gotta 
We got some bored people that need some work. So let's give them something to do because... Actually, don't know what our supply situation is, but it looks like it's okay. Okay. Could just wipe out everybody here. It's a really long fight. Could just go to the Shadow Yards base here and see how it goes. Also, plotting our next steps is really interesting here. You know, I guess if we want to fight Brighton... I mean, there's Vic. Brighton has a really annoying planet somewhere around here. <clears throat> yeah. We'll have to figure out what we want to do with that. There we go. So you guys, you guys, it did not work out for you. That's going to work out for me. Okay. So here's you guys. Engage the battle station. You guys are going to say no, no, no. Let's let's bring our carrier carrier team in here. This is fine. Once again, this is another thing where maybe I don't need all of this, but I have to respect the diable stuff. Their shit is really big and really nasty. And I don't want it to go sideways, so we're gonna go. We're just gonna call it a full assault. Everybody is just gonna try to go for the Merber here. Let's do a heavy escort on you. Let's do a medium escort on me. That's not me. But we'll do a medium escort on you. That'll be fine. Everyone else can just fly, fly, fly. Actually brought a pretty high number of small ships and then a bunch of carriers, but it should work out. Unless the uh, Star Eater here gets eaten up first because once again this is a uh, massively scary space base. But we are trying a different engagement doctrine here instead of just sending a bunch of heavy shit in here. We send a bunch of light shit to kind of confuse the targeting and maybe it'll work out. You know, I think I've... Oh. That's how, that's how we get other factions mad at me, by the way. In case, in case you needed a primer. Alright, but I'm going to try to shoot at their scary guns to disable them. That's what I always do versus Diable. It doesn't always work out, but... I mean, it's Diable on Diable crime. Yeah, our little our little guys should have this. And they don't have any of like the really big scary guns. They just have some of the regular scary guns. Although that one's pretty bad. So vent, vent, vent. And there comes the bombers. Oof. As something exploding. Looks like it's part of the station, so that's a plus. Now if I did if I wasn't just shooting into space rocks. Like this is this is the untold game of asteroids that you can play in Star Sector. Right here, we're just shooting rocks. And it's all fine. Like, I am doing maximum damage to that tiny space rock. There we go. I don't even know if my missiles got there in time. 
But see, once again, it doesn't have like one target to soak all of the damage into, so... Pretty good. Does this kill the Diable? Is an important question. Ugh, that's a no. Okay. <sighs> That's oop, wrong wrong buttons almost almost did the wrong kind of bombardment here. So if these guys have a shortage here, they're not supplying a lot of ground defense strength. Are we gonna get shot at again? Let's let's just test here. I mean it's a space station. How much does it cost anyway? Ten dollars. Okay, so it's already on fire. First off, you kind of want to build your space station solid instead of out of a wireframe. So that's a that's an issue. Um, let's see. Are we gonna get shot at? Yep. It's a lot of supplies. So maybe what we do here. So we don't send everybody. Well, we can't anyway, so... We let these guys go a turn, and then we split everybody up. They actually had some decent defenses in some of these places here. Let's see. Okay, we can't really do anything with you all just yet. So we'll give it, we'll give it a day. Okay, lost four heavy armaments. Cool. So let's split you guys too. And move you to way station. So we have engaging ground defenses. Mining and refining. Okay. Did I put somebody on the patrol HQ? I feel like I did. Moving to spaceport. I feel like I messed up somewhere. Well. Okay, engage the spaceport. I think we're fine. So, blah, 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 blah. Alright. Does this end the, the, the diable? Not yet. Really? So we didn't do the patrol HQ. Okay. So I did mess it up. Alright. Won't be long, though. And then we're back on them. Legio's trying to do some stuff here, but not towards us. Okay. This should be over by now, but... Okay. So... Okay, one more time here. Let's make sure we don't mess this up. So we need one at the spaceport. We need a little more support and ground defenses. Okay. Just having to run my mind through this because I don't exactly know what the rhyme or reason is for why sometimes it has a billion different squadrons and sometimes it doesn't. But they're holding on to the last. Good for them. There we go. Congratulations, your ally, the Shadow Yards Reconstruction Authority, has achieved the great conquest and now dominates the sector. Hey, we've won. We, we win. We win. Well, 
I'm going to be honest with you, I have never, ever seen the screen before in Star Sector. So, let's look at our stats. Level 30, ships killed, that many. Ships lost 84, feels like more. Um, fleet points killed, fleet points lost, orphans made. That's always the um, the stat I'm looking for somewhere. So, half half a million orphans. Oof. Markets captured. Prisoners repatriated. Prisoners ransomed. Let's look at the credits real quick. Woohoo! This is actually very exciting because you take a look at Star Sector playing it so much here. This is a uh, save that has gone on for a very long time. And myself and others have gotten a lot of enjoyment out of this. We can cancel the victory. Well, you know what? I did say before that Shadow Immortalis was the best alliance. So I guess technically series over. We don't have to do shit anymore. Somehow Desalt still gets to get dragged in here and say, all right, we did it. Let's look at the uh, faction directory real quick. As uh, Zahn is trying to undo that victory here. Okay, so manage the colony. It's a shit show. Somehow we only got 400 some marines back. That's not great. And we're going to pass you on to... Okay, we don't need a freelance administrator. Portmaster, transfer. Let's give it to the winners. Because they are, they are the victor. And to the victor goes the spoils, so we don't need most of that. Alright, so that is a uh, plus. For some reason, that's not a good idea to buy in the open market. But yeah, we are um, we're at an interesting stage now where we've won I don't even really need to take out Brighton so you know we have one place left and it's Sealy and I'm not a hundred percent certain about my fleet and how they'll do here I wonder if I should like put some bigger ships in or put some smaller ships in but we have the win. Jean-Pierre's um, legacy is assured at this point. Let's look at the character sheet. We haven't done that in a while. I have 19 story points. I've almost maxed out for another level here. There's so much we can do. But there's one place we need to go before we do it, and that is um, probably Nyx. Yeah. So we have successfully, I guess, subjugated space here. I know there's some other factions that we need to fight. I didn't look at the faction directory like I was supposed to. But if we just take a quick look here, like Legio, I think we can't like actually call it a victory without actually taking on Legio. Like if we had pulled them into our alliance, that'd be one thing. How do they feel about us, by the way? Probably game recognized game at this point. Yeah, they're neutral, which, as far as Legia goes, is pretty good. Um, yeah. So, don't worry. I'm joking about the victory, but we're not done. Are you guys coming after me? No. Okay, good. You shouldn't be. Rebellion in land, not our problem. The civilization in these places, not my problem. We have a... Uh, Vic Grand Investment Fleet that we're about to knock off. Yes, please. Because we are at war. So we can send the Donic. We can send some fast shit, some lobsters. As, as they say, get them. We didn't totally get them. But in the wreckage, we got metals, and we got a quantum cannon. Alright. 
It's an act of war. Well, they wanted to fight us. Technically, so... Interesting? So let's see, is that is that a Legio fleet? Looks like it's a Legio fleet. Not our fight today. I think what we do here is we resupply and we go for Sealy. Because I am really tired of not being able to use the jump points. So let's do that. <sighs> Since we're potentially flying into the face of danger, I may as well hide some of the shit. That's a really... That's less fuel than I expected. All right. Well. Okay, I have to. I have to remember real quick. Shift click. Nope. I I, I used to just do this automatically. It's like I can't remember. My, I'm suddenly brain dead and not remembering my hotkeys. It's like the COVID fog. People talk about it is a real thing. Obviously, enough people talk about it. I think I want even more supplies. There we go. Because we, we do have to go, like, all the way across the map, technically one way. If we look at our gate intel, though, where's the nearest gate? Where is the nearest gate? The nearest gate's where stupid Brighton is. Do I have to take out Brighton on the way? I really, well, no, 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 there's a better new Biscay. It's probably fine. Although it might not hurt to at least try and stop and pop in and get a few other gates that are a little closer, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. If we look at our ships that are here, I wouldn't hate having one more fuel tanker. We have a bunch of medium ones and no major ones. You know, if we're not actually invading anybody right now, and we're not actually hitting somebody with a um, that kind of thing. We can just store these for now, which means we have we are now carrying more fuel than we need. We'll burn that in just a second, and that should get us the rest of the way. Yeah, there we go. Sealy, you're bust. This could be bust. I just wanna I just wanna tell you that right now. And whatever happens, we're sticking. We're sticking with it. Does that mean that? Um, yeah, we'll accept the ceasefire. It's fine. So we have these guys now that are neutral and traveling. Because you know I don't have a problem accepting what happens at stuff before. But we have a mega port that's completed. We have a lot of money. I shouldn't be ignoring my colonies like this. Um, Zaphabok, do you finally have that planetary shield we promised? Yes. Are you still hemorrhaging credits like crazy? Yes. Why are you not a megaport? That would be helpful. And then we're at four industries here. Four industries here. I could technically get rid of the academy, but... It's too late for that. Vajtech, second industry. We have ground defenses that have been disrupted, so that's what's going on there. Upgrade the battle station, because we got money for it. You know, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm not exactly sure what I want for a second industry here. There's a lot of things we can do, like terraforming. You can only have one this requires farmland, salvage yards, tech mining. I mean void extraction is always like pretty reliable. But if we have no atmosphere here, we could just put fuel production. That's probably fine. Like, if we pump an atmosphere into here later, it's fine, but. The alternative, I guess, would be 
Sorry, I should I shouldn't be doing this. Um, you know this place is always going to have no atmosphere, so we'll just do fuel production there. It'll be six eventually. I, I in my in my head cannon. I want to. Um, oh, this is how we waste money. That's fine. <clears throat> I think we'll just do void extraction. That's well, we don't get a lot of benefit from that because we have mining. All right. How to burn money and do things that don't matter as much. Let's do some in system refining. It's just straight up cash. All right. So we're going to get a little bit of an economic hit between Shadow Yards and Kingdom of Terra. It's fine. They have no allies. They're pretty strong. And Grim Beamer repairing structural damage. Just whoever made the bet that said that um, this ship, the Star Skipper, was going to maintain all of its demods the whole time. Correct. And I just had a million credits and I totally could have repaired it. Could have repaired everything, and I didn't. By the way, we are taking the um, the wrong way through the nebulas here. Although we could go down through here, and make it a little bit faster. Maybe that's the plan. I actually don't want to get rocked by these too bad. Also, I'm curious. Um, should probably check here. Do we still have Vengeance Fleets coming after us? It doesn't look like we do. You guys are trying to invade Vajtech again? You guys... You guys. Alright, well... I said this is, this is the closest that um, Mr. Seekhart has been on a vision quest here. And I think a lot of these places we have not explored. This is kind of a weird gap in our exploration, but we're going to go west so that we can hopefully punch holes through the gates to the east, or we're going to get sent back, and then things are going to get a little more interesting. Although maybe not as interesting as you might think, because there's, there's one or two thoughts about it. One is... Is this the end if we don't succeed, or does he just disappear off into the wilderness? Or if he does succeed, do we just gloriously march in the way the main story and the Academy hopes they can, but never quite do? Alright. Well, regardless, we are now officially taking the wrong path here, because... Look at that. Once again, the space intestines are headed the wrong way. Isn't that typical? It's actually so typical. It's making my eye burn. I gotta actually pause here for a second. Ooh. Oh, old people problems. Okay. And then there we go. There's Legio giving us Costas Belly here, going after against our ally. Oh, it's not what I wanted at all. <clears throat> All right, so how far have we gone? Our fuel situation's still okay. And we can always take the slipstream back. Distress call. That's probably a trap. I think it's almost certainly a trap. All right. Thanks to presence of one more industrial pallies of this star system, we have liberated a number of quality goods. Oh, wow. So DeSalt and the Pomed now don't like each other. So there we go. DeSalt has officially left the building. Screw them! You know, if you look at the front art of the uh, thing, of the terrible pixel art that I did, they never made the logo anyway. And, um... 
you're not really gonna fight me right now. No, I've got I've got other fish to fry. So we've This is not unfamiliar territory for us, although I'm doing a terrible job navigating. And this is totally the kind of thing where if I were a better YouTuber I could edit some of the stuff, but then where's the uh, pointless talking as we're listening to thunder in space? It's not pointless. We're reflecting on our journey. Like I said, we've already run. We've already won. We just go to Kiel now. We punch. We punch some uh, something in the face. Okay, so research station seems fine. All right, we've read this before. I'm gonna leave it up here if you want to pause it real quick. We're going to explore. And what do we see but th one, two, three abyssal horrors. Your sensors give conflicting information as to the identity of the object, with the onboard AI struggling to make sense of the conflicting noise of input your comms. Despite being turned off for screaming, crying, and laughing, the bridge is filled with shadows and darkness. Imagine trying to fight here, but you have no idea what this thing is, but you're quite sure of one thing. It's going to kill you, your crew, your fleet, and everything you lo everything I love. It's even going to kill double-stuffed Oreos. Okay. Anyway. Oop. Should probably actually start the fight. I know we're 46 minutes into the video. We're doing this now. Alright. We have 420 deployment points available to us. We need to bring out... The big... The big guns... Need to bring out some carriers, and we need to strongly consider um, having some mobile forces here. Once again, this is another one of those big boss fights. So if people die, they die. And that's just the way it is. I need to give myself some more small ships to send in. Send in the clowns, as it were. Probably, if I were a better YouTuber, I could totally play that song right now. But, I'm going to send you up here. And uh, we're going to give you a heavy escort. I'm liking this escort system okay. Um, this fight's probably like going to go to shit in a handbasket in just a second. So, we're just going to... We're just going to have fun. Like, this is... I have no idea if this is the kind of team I want in this fight or not. But here they come. If you remember some, like, 50 videos ago, we had a nightmare scenario with these things. The nightmare is here. Now, our goal can actually be... I'll just get rid of these waypoints real quick. Our goal can actually be to focus fire. I think that is a noble goal. So let's have all you guys focus fire on this. Let's have you guys try to pin these down. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to go. We're going to go for a right fish, and we are going to be ready to uh, resend a lot of stuff here. So it looks like I'm immediately going for. The wrong one, but that's fine. We'll tie him down. We got 20 points available to us already, so let's uh, let's have grand old time. Who's the first to die, by the way? The red shift. And uh, yeah, not great. Also, not the biggest fan of being in the direct line of fire of the giant nightmare ship. So we have three fights going all at once. We have this thing, you're going over here, you guys are all going over here. We got 19 more points to send as we lose the pup, soul, and the black swan. So we're losing a bunch of small shit early. Uh, I think it's time for Femba Winter. Although we need to start thinking of some other ships to come in here. Like I said, all I'm trying to do is to have fun with targeting, we got 12 points available to us. 
And there is Tony the Triangle that we never got your triangle base shit on here. Okay, we're, we're losing more shit. All right, cool. Let's get you out here. How's this fight going? Okay, you guys are chasing this down. That's good. How's this going? You're going mano a mano. That could work. And this is this is kind of kind of a big deal, except for Victor Cernos has decided to fly in front of me. As we have Operation Human Shield, I guess. And oh no. Snippy snappy. Crabby crabby. Is not doing a great job here. We got 28 points. It's time to bring out Darrow of Lycos, one of the OGs of our whole, our whole thing. And there's, there's Tony. Hopefully not flexing himself out, but he unleashes Hot Fury. Thimble Winter down, we are 76 points in the hole. I have a feeling this is going smoothly. Who do we want to send? I think we want to send the rest of our little guys. Can we squeeze in a bigger ship here? Maybe one more, like this. Another carrier. Let's see how the other how the other fights are doing. So we lost the snowstorm. So this thing didn't take a lot of damage, but it's occupied. This thing is not taking a lot of damage. For some reason. It's just kind of backed off. So maybe, because it's taken some damage here, I think we just crack back on this. We cancel this order. We send everybody over here. We try to take out the thing in the middle. That seems like a terrible idea. Okay, cool. Dropping my shields mid-fight, also a terrible idea. All right, that's... That is an explosion. Tony, Tony, you're doing good here. Need to have my shields up, though. All right, are we getting it? Got 47 more deployment points, and we have Object 1968. Asploded. Time for some Grim Bremer. We'll bring a Norlasher in here as well. So we are just doing the Foot Clan method. We are sending every everybody all at once. We have another ship that's here. We have one that's eliminated. Oh god, it's the Dorito thing. Okay, we have one ship that's not eliminated. That just complicated things a little bit. I guess we keep the pressure on, though. Because technically it is surrounded right now. Problem is, Tony's getting shot in the butt really hard, so... Let's send all you guys over here. And we got 19 more deployment points. Who do we send to their death today? Guess it's you, because you're the only one that's worth 19. So Tony is doing awesome and also getting fried. Did all of my missiles just fly into the corpse of that thing? Yep, okay, Tony. Tony, you're in trouble. You did real good, though. 138. Oh, Lord. We just lost two things at the same time. Okay. Oh, look, one star difficulty. I don't think so. So, I guess the question now is what does this mean? Are we just unworthy? Can we not take the crown?
Okay, we're losing more shit here. Alright. Literally running out of kitchen sinks to throw at my enemy here. Let's see if we can... Missile and vent. Are you actually ramming the Star Skipper? Because that's a bold move. And it worked out really well for you. Okay. So right now we need to stabilize. And we're doing a terrible job. Although the Electronic Donic is uh, having a swell time here. We've got this surrounded, which is a plus. We got Victor Serenos that's dying, and that's actually really bad news. All right, I think we might be going for the unceremonious end here. This is supposed to be an end game fight. I don't think anyone ever doubted that, but good lord. There's probably some strategy that I could do much better with here. But for now, I've just got to survive in advance. We're having even more ships explode. Okay, cool. I've officially run out of things to throw at these fleets, so... Let's cancel this order and send everybody on this one. Even though this one's hull is doing better or worse. Yeah, we've uh... We've got a question. And that's the Grim Beamer that is getting double hit here. Like, I guess one of the questions is, how do you prepare for this? Let me know in the comments, because for all of the ass-kicking I've done... Oh my god. Okay, I was about to say, um... Something just happened with the Steam front page, and it just knocked me out. And for a second, I thought, um... I had lost my entire, like, recording here. Okay. There's no retreating from this. You know, I guess what we could do is we could just do the Ludic Path thing and send a bunch of IED stuff. Okay, so... Let's see, can we can we readjust here in time? Because we're down, we're not out yet. Although me getting hit in the engines is not great, and me ramming one of my friends, also not great. And us getting chased down by other things, also not great. So let's get you to the edge of the map. Like I said, it just begs the question. What do we do? Did I just explode? Oh shit. Alright, well, I didn't even die on camera. Well... Here is the question yet again. We have uh, Shadow Immortalis getting the victory, but Seekheart Immortalis failing a 
at its objective. And once again, let's remember, this is with me modding the shit out of stuff and having like a bunch of extra deployment points to fight these guys. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. But this is a real fight. And for the first time in a while, we've been wiped off the map. I'm just going to do this now. Because otherwise we fly off with all the cargo ships. Deploy! And we're just going to follow you guys. Full assault. Alright, well... And maybe this was always going to be a stumbling block. Maybe this was doomed to fail from the start. And maybe that was one reason in my mind that I put this off for so long is that maybe this is the white whale, the uh, unreachable goal, the uh, unfinishable task, the place where I just went too much too far. Or maybe I could have done the whole fight better. Oh, last brave soul. What do you have? You have no hope. The Heracles is gone. Your forces are utterly defeated, and the last engagement, the last thing you remember, is a sudden burst of acceleration of the escape pod. You're in tears, or, or you're in tears, not tears. Tears away from your doomed ship. We got two of them, but we didn't get all of them. Your fleet is scattered and yourself barely escaped in the command pod. After a while, you're picked up by a passing salvage fleet and taken back to civilization. So, we actually get mercifully sent fairly close to civilization. But yeah. I want to see that combat log versus the abyssal horror. We got no credit for defeating things. Everybody died. The Sky Splitter did good. The Star Eater did good. I could have done better. Tony made a great last stand. Joe Steele held one side of the fight. It's like there were three terrible things coming after me. And if they had just exploded there and it wasn't the Dorito remnant... Your ship is becoming another ship, which I imagine that smaller ship, if we had defeated it, would have become an even smaller ship. Um, it could have been something, but now we're here. And what does this mean? Does this mean that we have these places and it's all here? And technically, technically, we control. Or does it mean... Legio. Let's look at the let's look at the um, faction directory here real quick. Legio has a major series of footholds. Maybe it means that while we have our own foothold, the uh, goal of peace through conquest could never be satisfied. Or maybe we could have just gone after Legio and fought with sticks and we shouldn't have gone for the stars. But alas, this is where we're at. And this is where I will leave things for the time being. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts in the comments or Discord. One of my primary objectives for the run to unlock our ability to jump around is failed. We're not dead. Canonically, 
it seems like every single one of our officers is dead. Yet mysteriously, they all are here with me. So, is this the end for Jean-Pierre Seacard? I have some thoughts, but I'll table them for now. I'd love to hear yours. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Not the first time we've ended up in a Wayfair, but I wonder, is this truly how it would be if we died at the end of the known sector? Another time. Thanks for watching. You all take care.